The Mad Ghoul from 1943 was a universal monster movie starring George Zucco. Now, he's an actor I have seen previously in some of the Mummy movies. He would play the ancient Egyptian high priest, and he was only briefly in the film, so it was kind of neat to see him here as the big star of the film. So it opens up, and he is playing Dr. Alfred Morris. He's a professor who's teaching his class about the ancient Mayan natives and how some of their early artwork shows that they had a primitive form of mind control gas that they would use. And he recruits his star student, Ted Allison, who's played by David Bruce, to join him in his research. And the first thing they do is they operate on a monkey. And we start to realize at this point that this professor might be a little bit dark when he says things like, I'm a scientist, there's no such thing as good and evil, only true or false. Yeah, you hear stuff like that in a film and you know, ah, this guy's going to be trouble. <laughs> that's, that's mad scientist talk, come on. So his science project is basically this. He's using a homebrew of this Mayan mind control gas to make people into zombie-like followers. And then he can undo this using a serum taken from the hearts of recently deceased bodies as a temporary antidote. Yeah, you know that's not going to go well. What sort of changes, Doctor? First, there was an appearance of emaciation, followed by more marked physical changes, and then by paralysis of the will. This condition inevitably will terminate in death. Anyhow, after they finish up their monkey surgery, they all agree to have dinner. And Ted brings along his girlfriend, Isabel, who is played by actress Evelyn Ankers. And the doctor immediately takes a liking to her. Evelyn Ankers, of course, was in some of the other Universal Monster films, namely Lon Chaney Jr.'s love interest in The Wolfman. So anyhow, once they gather at Dr. Morris's house, we find out that Isabel, who is this gorgeous singer, she just doesn't care much for Ted anymore. She wants to go off and do her music. And Dr. Morris realizes this and confides in her that everything will be made right because, well, he secretly got something diabolical planned for poor Ted. And in fact, later, he sets up a trap in his lab where Ted will accidentally walk in and get a whiff of Dr. Morris's ancient Aztec zombie gas stuff. And then the doctor shows up right after this has happened. He's got a gas mask on, of course. And he finds the newly zombified Ted and helps him up to his feet. And he has this living death syndrome, and he looks all pale and awful. So, of course, Dr. Morris starts giving zombie Ted mental suggestions that Isabel doesn't really love him and that she loves him instead. Ew. So, Dr. Morris and zombie Ted... They head off to the graveyard, where he tells Ted to dig up a newly buried body and then do a cardioectomy. So I can make you well, he tells him. So apparently they find these freshly dead bodies and then take the serum from the heart to help reverse the zombie effects. I don't read into it too much. You know, it's anyhow, the police show up and they find that the grave has been disturbed so they start their investigation. It does raise a question is why didn't zombie Ted just push the dirt back in? But oh well. Dr. Morris does his treatment and zombie Ted turns back to normal. But when he comes around, he still has some of his memories of Isabel. So the doctor assures him that he just had a bad episode of vertigo that had knocked him out for a couple days. So around this point, the doctor notices that little Jocko, his lab monkey, has suddenly fallen dead. So something is apparently off with his Aztec gas procedure. He realizes that Ted might be at risk too, but he doesn't tell him anything just yet, and instead they both go off to see Isabel. Isabel is in concert, and she is singing the song Marble Halls, which, side note, up until now I thought was an Enya song. Huh. And on the piano with her, noteworthy, was actor Turhan Bey as the character Eric. And that was pretty cool. He was the Egyptian priest that reanimated Caris in the movie The Mummy's Tomb. So it was cool to see the George Zucco and Turhan Bey connection there, the two of them both in this film. I love these actors that overlap in these old Universal movies. It's great stuff. Anyhow, turns out that Turhan's character, Eric, is now Isabel's love interest. And Ted is oblivious to this. 
and Ted proposes to Isabel, gets a shocking rejection, and then after he's collapsed into a chair, zombie Ted is triggered. So Dr. Morris takes care of him, and back to the graveyard the two of them go. And in this time, the doctor ends up bonking a gravekeeper on the head, and zombie Ted goes to work doing open-heart surgery on a fresh heart. Now I have to tell you, zombies are creepy enough to begin with, but zombies doing open-heart surgery is really kicking up the creepiness to the next level. Anyhow, Dr. Morris, he has a private meeting with Isabel, and she mentions her love of Eric and so on, and well, the doctor starts a scheming. He needs to get Eric out of the picture. So he does some mind control stuff on zombie Ted and has him go meet with Eric secretly to shoot him. Because, again, zombies aren't enough. Zombies that do open heart surgery and carry guns, that's really taking it up another level. So zombie Tim goes to meet with Eric, but last minute, Isabel runs to Eric, worried about him, and then the two kind of leave. And Dr. Morris takes zombie Tim away, and he plans something else. Meanwhile, the press, they start looking around for a scoop into this situation, and they see that there's sort of a pattern that follows that these crimes kind of take place around Isabel's singing. They try to lay a trap for the zombie killer, and reporter McClure, who's played by Robert Armstrong of King Kong fame, he like pretends to be a dead body and they're going to try to lay a trap, but that doesn't go so good. So finally, Ted starts to put things together about what's going on. But as we near the end of the film, will it be too late? Will there be another zombie episode that kicks in? Well, you'll have to watch and see, as the ending is quite exciting and there's a fun twist as well. I really love the final scene of this film, but I'm not going to give it away. I don't give spoilers. you got to watch this old universal classic gem. Now, some closing thoughts. It was cool to see these familiar faces, namely George Zucco, as the loony mad scientist here as the lead character. Now, David Bruce as the zombie Tim was okay. He wasn't necessarily scary or menacing, but instead just sort of lethargically wanders along doing the doctor's will. And I did like seeing Turhan Bey, and it was cool that he was presented here not as like the mysterious Egyptian or anything like that, but instead he was just Eric, the suave piano player. I thought that was pretty cool. I believe this is the only zombie film of that old era of universal classic monsters. I could be wrong, but it's a short film, it's goofy, it's good fun, and it's worth checking out. Now, Ted, you must perform a cardiectomy. You understand? A cardiectomy so that I can make you well.